Hello, welcome back to Divine Honesty. And if you're new, welcome back, my bystanders. Hopefully, you'll become a divine. It's easy as one, two, three. You can also share, um, share, like, and subscribe. And today, we're going to be getting into the energy of Sagittarius. This energy is going to be for your February month, okay? So please take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, and let's get started. So Sagittarius, we're coming from the energy of Jupiter. You know, we don't really think about the consequences. We're really impulsive when we go with our gut. A lot of the times, we're very adventurous, charming, blunt, exaggerative, impatient. <laughs> and let's throw some optimistic on there, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and give you the energies coming up. Take what resonate, leave the rest. Also, roles can be reversed, okay? So let's get started. We have one, two, three. Okay. I'm a Sagittarius too, you guys. So I'm kind of scared. Hopefully we have some good ass energy. Because I can't take no more. What about you guys? Okay. Oh, hell. This is for y'all. This is not for me. Okay. <laughs> we have the 10 of fucking swords uh, who is stabbing us in our back uh, who is doing this look at the cards look at this card it also can mean a lot of information coming to you at once causing you to feel overwhelmed or on your back also look at the damn deer there's people who's looking at this like damn you know there's people that's going to be able to see your pain or see your strife also with the source coming down like this this can mean betrayal this also can mean just some fucked up energy or a lot of communication or a lot of things being put on your back okay let's go ahead and get into your next card this is some fucked up energy look at that our next card is the strength. So you could be dealing with the Leo, also Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You don't have to be. But with this card, this card represents the energy of the lion, the strength. Wow. Saying that your strength is definitely going to be tested um, throughout this month. Okay. And this is your inner strength. Okay. Or your energy, like your inner God. Okay. You're going to have to be guided the right way. Look at the correlation between these cards that we have for our energy. First of all, a motherfucking lion can tear the fuck up from a damn deer. Will eat that damn deer up, okay? So whatever this deer, deer that's just seeing you go through shit and not doing anything about it, you're going to have this lion energy that is ready to move, ready to conquer. But you have this feminine energy about you. So this energy with the lion is more about logic it's more about emotional strength don't allow yourself to keep feeling pity on yourself and a lot of Sagittarius we don't really have a pity type of energy because we hate feeling vulnerable but when this shit is going on we feel like it's just coming out of nowhere it's saying it's coming out of somewhere and it's a test to see how um involved you really are see look at her background she's in space okay there's stars and there's suns all around her shining bright. So there's other, there's going to be other avenues and doors that's going to be open that can seem like it's a lot, but you have to have that inner strength to see it for exactly what it is. Okay. Also, we're going into the Aquarius energy. We're in the Aquarius energy right now. Aquarius is energy for technology. It's energy for innovation, <clears throat> science. It's also energy for communications and innovation. Okay. So whatever strife or whatever all this communication some of you can be getting downloads that's going to make you sh stronger within your energy field in your energy okay your inner god and then you have the knight of wands so you can definitely be with a sagittarius leo um sagittarius leo or Aries, but with this energy is saying go after your passion, go after it. Also, this says that you're for some of you, you need to hurry up and move, you need to hurry up and do shit. It's saying right here, you're not doing enough, you're not doing enough, okay. And also, what this energy represents, this energy also represents going traveling for some of you you definitely could be traveling due to this hurt, okay. Now, for some of you, what I'm seeing is this motherfucker basically. 
backstabbed you. You have got strength and you're moving on. So for some of you, you're moving the fuck on from this backstabbing ass energy. Now you have the wine in your hand. You fuck a sewer. You have a wine. You have a. You have um desire passion that you're going to be going over because all this is doing this energy is giving you strength to start a new life to explore okay night of why of wines is an explorer also this energy can represent a hoe so for some of you you are definitely getting over this hoe type of energy or somebody was just a player to you and it's saying what this energy is doing is giving you strength to love yourself it's giving you strength to see where you can take yourself okay because don't forget, you have the right to love and you have the right to be loved, no matter what that looks like, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get an energy card for you. Yes, my Sagittarius, let's see. X-ray vision. It's saying you need to focus, okay? Two can be mean something for you, but it says you need to focus. It's saying that you're not focused enough. It's saying you are in the energy of Aquarius. You can get shit done. It's just, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? It's saying you need to move. It's having this energy of the um, Knight of Wands. It's saying you need to move. You need to get uh, yourself from being stuck in this energy, which is the Ten of Wands, a Ten of Swords, because all it really did was give you strength. All it did is give you strength. So now you're in a place where you can be grateful that this energy was there to, to allow you to grow. Okay. We are in a university. That's why we're in a universe. So therefore, this just giving you information to grow, Sagittarius. Okay. And since time ages things, it has the tendency to make something that was rather beautiful begin to look like something that is unrecognizable or something that we e we don't even want to be around anymore. That's from the Great Seven Bomber, okay? And basically what that's saying is just because it started, the energy started out like this, okay, unrecognizable or just painful, we can get in the state of strength where we don't even recognize that pain anymore, okay? Because it doesn't matter what's going on around you, Sag, or on the outside. <laughs> if, if you want happiness, your internal relationship determines how you feel, okay? Your internal relationship determines how you feel because it's better to have nobody than to have someone who is halfway there or don't even want to be there. Therefore, don't chase people. Be yourself. Do your work hard. The right people, the ones who really belong in your life will come to you and stay. And that's by the, um, and that's by Will Smith, okay? Because this, this can be the ugly part of your story, but this can also be your triumph as well. This can be something that you are able to transform into money, especially if you have eight red vision. One thing about a Sagittarius is we're very wise. Why? Because we put ourselves in situations due to our adventurous nature to the Jupiter planet. The planet Jupiter is our ruler, okay? Jupiter is about philosophy. It's about expansion. It's about a bigger view, okay? And it gives us wisdom through experience, all right? So I'm seeing, you know, <clears throat> being a teacher is something that can also allow you to have x-ray vision when it comes to your light because now you're able to show other people your wisdom and what you've been through so that's going to inspire you to keep that type of behavior okay it's saying that you know the jupiter is a planet of benefit it's a planet of, of luck it's a planet of inner standing understanding okay because that's why a lot of such church you know we like to give other wisdoms based upon our or their experiences so it's saying use that for your vision okay use it as an experience use it as a way to ground yourself use it as a way to look into your future look at look at it as a way to determine what you need to do in order to be where you want to be okay and if this reading resonates please like share subscribe become a divine if you're a bystander i understand but definitely please become a divine and also thank you this has been another divine honesty Thank you to all my divines and all my bystanders. I hope you become a divine. Um, also, please check out these two other videos. You can resonate and get different insight. Or you can get um, more uh, meaning to your 
confusion or your heartbreak or your desire. You can get more information and try to heal through the words of others. Try to heal through the words of divines. So please join me and please become a divine member. Thank you. This has been a divine honesty.